Hi everybody, Mary here with a little bit more information on how to get the index.html file that you're going to be working with in lab number three onto your computer. There are a couple of tricks. We didn't get a chance to really go into it like I, as I would have liked to on Thursday last, but I thought, well, I'll do up a, a, a video here because there are a couple of tricks that you need to be aware of regardless of whether you're coming in on a Macintosh or whether you're coming in on a Windows or even a Linux based machine. It's all in how the, the browser handles the file. So here I am in Connects and I'm in Firefox. So this is my preferred browser and, and in, in lab number three you're going to have to ensure that your code runs correctly in Firefox and in Internet Explorer. Now, uh, those of you on the Mac, Safari should do the trick too. Um, there may be a few subtle differences, but the concepts that we're going to go over here in this quick video should be the same regardless of the browser. The words and the exact placement are going to be a little bit different. But the concepts are going to be the same. So, here we are. We're in good old Connects. Let's go to our assignment. I'm taking a look at lab number three, so I'm not started that one yet. And down here we come, and it's index.html that I'd like to get a copy of on my local machine. So I, there's a, several ways to do this. I'm going to show you probably the most intuitive way. I'm going to click on index.html, and you'll notice it opens. Now on my Windows machine, and I think on most Windows machines, it's going to open with just a straightforward white background and this thing that looks like a, a big text field here at the top. And it will say something, uh, it'll say title goes here on the tab. Those of you that have tab enabled, it'll say title goes here. If you don't have tab enabled, it would probably appear right here where we say title goes here, Mozilla Firefox. So you've got this in front of you. Now we're going to go to file. And we're going to go save page as. Now this is going to be uh, not exactly the same in the uh, in the uh, the Mac environment as the Windows, but very 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 close. Concepts the same. Save page as. And here's where the trick comes into place. You have several things that Firefox gives you as uh, options for saving the page. The one that you want is what you want is web page. HTML only. And you'll click that and it'll say index.html. Ensure that it says that here. And click save. You can, you can browse to where you want it to go and click save. Now uh, I have this um, item coming up. But you may or may not. And then you would go to where you saved your index.html to work with it further from there. Now that is how we do it in the Firefox environment. It's a little bit different in the Internet Explorer environment. Let me show you. So here we are in Connects in our Internet Explorer environment. Again, I'll go to Assignments and I'll go to Lab 3. I'll go to Lab 3. <laughs> there we come. And scroll down and I'll get my index.html. So I'll click on index.html and up it comes. Now you'll notice that uh, I've got this so that it opens a whole new window. Again, it says title goes here. Again, it's a blank white page. Windows folks, you might see this as a blank black page. Uh, but white or black, you should see this sort of uh, space here, as I say, that looks like a place to put in text. Um, you'll go to File. You'll go to Save As. Now here is where there's quite a difference. Here um, you have still the same type, so what can you save as? What you want, again, web page HTML only. Don't take anything else, just take that, save. But before we click save, look here how it says title goes here.htm. That is not what we want. You're going to erase that and you're going to type in index.html. You could leave it just index.htm, but index.html 
is uh, what I'm going to refer to. And I want you to notice one other thing here. I did not put in any spaces. I do not have any capital letters. It's just very, very, very plain Jane index.html. And that's because in the web world, things don't work so well if there are spaces in the file name. And I'll click on my save. And uh, then when I'm ready to work with my index.html file, I would browse to it, find it, and begin to work.